Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm starting a new sketchbook. It's called Watercolor Book from Hanne Mule and it's 100% cotton. Since it's Christmas, I was inspired by this cute little ornament to paint some angels. And I will be using three different techniques. One including masking fluid, one without it, and one in collage. So, for the first illustration, I want the star to be in the focus. I want to draw an angel holding a star. So I start by drawing the star and then uh, arms and the body. I also want to point out that this is a stylized illustration and not a realistic one. So the way I'm drawing the body is a bit exaggerated and not completely realistic. So at this point I realized I should have first drawn the instrument and then the arm so it would be easier to sort of connect these two like I did for the star. So my suggestion for you is to first draw the instrument and then the arm. It's, I found it easier this way. Now to clean up my sketch before starting painting, I'm using a kneaded gum, uh, eraser, sorry, it's like a gum. Um, it helps removing the pigments without leaving any eraser bits, which can be a bit messy, so I really like using it, but it's not essential. And here I have a masking fluid from Winsor & Newton, which I will apply on the angel to the right. And while that is going to dry I will paint the background of the left one without using the masking fluid. For brush I'm using a simple synthetic craft brush nothing exclusive as masking fluid can be harsh on the bristles and I don't want to use my exclusive brushes for this purpose. One thing I learned is to apply a bit of uh, dish soap on the bristles before using the masking fluid it really helps removing the masking fluid from the brush and cleaning the brush. And I got this tip from one of you guys um, and I'm really thankful for that. It saved me lots of time and effort. So I cover the whole area of the angel with the masking fluid, add some stars to the background and then let it dry. While that is drying, I continue with the one to the left. And I'm going to use a Prussian blue, mix it with some water beforehand. So it's um, easy and quick to just pick, the, pick up the pigment for this large area I'm going to paint using a small brush number, si number four, size four. It's a synthetic brush from a Swedish local brand. I first pick some clean water 
and with the outside area of the sketch. As you can see, when I add the paint, it only flows into the wet area. It uh, really helps creating an even distribution of paint, especially for larger areas, and controlling the flow of water while painting the details. Now I switch to a larger brush, so I have these three sizes in my hand, use the bigger one for larger areas, it uh, helps covering these areas much faster, and for areas closer to this sketch where I have lots of details, I use a smaller brush. As you might have felt, this process was a bit tedious, it took some time to cover the whole background and really darken it and now the masking fluid on the other one has dried and I repeat the same process of wetting the surface this time I don't have to worry about the edges of the sketch it's already covered so I wet the whole surface and just add the paint so I really enjoy working with masking fluid for this purpose it really saves some time. So using a hair dryer, I speed up the drying process and as you can see, it dries lighter and I build up layers repeating the same wet on wet technique and darken the background as I go. Already you can see the difference between uh, the way paint has covered the background on the right versus the one to the left. I have got some unwanted effect on the painting to the left. So after everything has dried, I remove the masking fluid using my eraser. You can also rub it with the fingers, but I don't like that that much. And as you can see, the edges didn't uh, come out very clean. From my experience, this happens a lot with masking fluid. So before continue painting, I do some cleanups with my smallest brush. So for wings or feathers, I like to paint in like row by row, if you look at these as sections, and where the feathers are overlapping, I add more paint, like darken those areas to create this casting shadow and three-dimensional effect. And for each row, I let it dry before I paint in the next one because as we have learned, when surface is wet, the paint or watercolor would flow into that area and it will end up messy. And uh, for that purpose, you have to be a bit patient and give it some time when working on these kind of details. Time to add some shine and I use gold watercolors from a Swedish handmade brand. I like supporting local businesses but there are many other brands out there as well. And after that's done, paint in some details 
and the dress, some ornaments and swirls inspired by Persian art. You can do this using a colored pencil as well as I'm doing right now and it works especially well if you are painting on a fine grain watercolor paper so if you have a smooth surface using colored pencil or combining that with watercolors becomes much easier from my experience and create some really nice effects and textures and now for the collage technique i was talking about earlier um, i will go through it very fast so i just draw the outline or the sketch of the angel just leave some space between each section so we can cut it out um, I am doing this on a thinner watercolor paper so it's easier to cut it using the scissors then you paint your background let it dry and then glue these shapes on top of the background uh, it's really fun technique I really enjoyed doing this as well and thought why not sharing with you too now going back to previous paintings I wanted to uh, do some experiments with a technique for painting clouds I pick the flat brush and putting one side of it into the gouache and paint these fluffy shapes as you see and then repeating it a couple of times cleaning the brush and spreading out the paint till it goes from opaque white to transparency sort of creating a gradient so gouache is also known as opaque watercolors and it allows for painting light on dark and if you dilute it with water the more water you add the more transparent it will get so what i'm doing is that first i lay down a fairly thick layer of wash paint clean the brush and using that clean brush i spread out the paint i also have a paper towel in my hand I think it's very important when painting with watercolors or gouache it helps controlling the amount of water you have on the brush so it shouldn't be too wet or too dry and after some exercises I think you will get a feel for that And now using the white colored pencil to finalize some details. So to those of you who celebrate Christmas, I wish a happy holiday and new year. I hope next year will bring some peace and good news for all of us. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up to support the channel and upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and 
see you in the next one